Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. This is the fourth in a series of videos on the topic Encounter with the Jupiterians channeled by Alice B. Claggett. This fourth in the series is entitled The Vast Underground Cities of the Jupiterians. I wondered what the Jupiterians had been talking about and I did some research on mycorrhizal networks in Wiki Wikipedia and I have this quote for you from that article. Mycorrhizal networks, also known as common mycorrhizal networks or CMN, are underground hyphal networks created by mycorrhizal fungi that connect individual plants together and transfer water, carbon, nitrogen, and other nutrients and minerals. That's a quote from, from Wikipedia. As you can see from the image I'm about to show you, the Jupiterian subterranean beings form vast subterranean cities, complete with water transport systems and food supply lines. These cities allot water and nutrients to plants that live above the JSBs, that's Jupiterian subterranean beings, including as can be seen in the image I'm about to show you, trees and plants and fungi, such as mushrooms, whose fruiting bodies are above ground. So, the city sewer and water systems of the Jupiterians that live underground, they service not just other fungi in the, like a fungus town, but also trees and plants and the mushrooms that live above ground that are their fruiting bodies or reproductive organs. It's kind of an interesting process because they're knitting together various earth communities, uh, farming, you, you might say, the, the inner bark of trees, farming the um, integumentary system of human beings including the skin and the large intestine in in the same way that they farm the inner bark of trees and and farm the the nutrients in the, in the soil in their subterranean cities you see it's a very vast net, network here that we're talking about mind-bogglingly so if you actually get the drift of it but anyway we have this image I have an image that I found in Wikimedia Commons called Mycorrhizal Fungi are in symbiotic relationship with plants. And uh, it's described like this, and I quote, the relationship is usually mutualistic. In other words, not parasitic. By mutualistic might mean commensal, that the two are living together in harmony. The fungus providing the plant with water and minerals from the soil and the plants providing the fungus with photosynthesis products. So plants and fungi are living in harmony. And by that is mean plants that are mainly above ground and trees, that kind of plants. To continue with the quoted material, some fungi are, however, parasitic, taking products from the plant without providing benefits. Conversely, some mixotrophic or parasitic plants connect with mycorrhizal fungi as a way to obtain photosynthesis products from other plants. Finally, apotrophic or saprophytic Fungi live on dead organic matter without establishing a symbiosis with plants. So there are exceptions to the rules. There are some plants that parasitize the Jupiterians. There are some Jupiterians that parasitize plants. And there are some Jupiterians that live on matter already dead and cannot be said to be parasitic or in mutual symbiosis with other plants.
All right, so, so here's the picture that I saw in Wikimedia Commons. And uh, uh, it, you'll see under the ground, you'll see tiny hi-fi. You can barely see them like, um, like a network, sort of whitish network of, of fungi which I feel to be Jupiterians. They connect with the roots of the trees. You can see the root of, looks like a white oak tree. And then up above the ground in the middle, you can see, okay, so here are the fungi down in here. And here are the roots of the tree connecting with the fungi. And up above there, this is the a fruiting body or reproductive organ. We call it a mushroom of of some of those fungi down there. Okay, and let's see what else do we have. Oh yes, mixotrophic plant and saprophytic that are fungi. All right, mixotrophic plant right here, plant connecting with the fungi, and and here we have over here saprophytic litter fungi saprophytic litter fungi and what they're doing is feeding on forest litter or detritus they're not eating anything that's alive they're not aiding anything else that's alive they're not getting aid from anything that's alive they're just eating dead matter it says here and this is important that the soil microbiota in other words the other microorganisms with which the fungi must either compete or cooperate are bacteria and viruses. So in the soil you have bacteria, fungi, and viruses. It says that right up here. I doubt you can read it though. There'll be more on that in, later in the series. As well, the common mycorrhizal networks of Jupiterian subterranean beings would protect and nourish the earth communities of detrivores, cryptozoa, saprophytes, and tiny scavengers in forest litter. I don't know about you, but I find these terms intriguing, and I suggest just go ahead and look them up on your own in Wikipedia or elsewhere and find out a little more about detrivores, cryptozoa, saprophytes, and other tiny scavengers in forest litter or forest detritus. I also feel that the Jupiterians, if they are fungi, would be good friends with the nature spirits we know as brownies. You can find out more about that on my website, awakeningwithplanetearth.com. That's it on this, this item in the series, and I wish you all peace and Godspeed until next we meet.